I can't believe it, dude. You've done it. Woo bat. Can't believe y'all are gonna make me play Woo Bat. Woo Bat? Are you serious? Let's take a look at the deck. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we have Fan Favorite Friday, which is where every Friday I take a deck that is the most liked in last Friday's video and I make a deck with it and we play it on the ladder and see where we can get. We had a couple Fridays ago, we did Gardevoir Sylveon Tag Team GX, and today we have, thanks to Didi, this Woobat idea. Now, it's actually kind of funny because Woobat is one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, and I just never actually knew that this card existed, and I bet you don't either. So before we get into the deck, please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed this content. Leave a like, ring that little bell notification icon down there so you can get notifications of when I post in the future. Let's get into it. All right, here is the Woobat with the unamplified sound wave attack. This attack does 30 damage each of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, that sounds pretty good, right? I mean, I like doing 30 damage, I like spreading, and for only one psychic energy, that sounds pretty sweet. But here's the catch. If you have any cards in your hand, this attack does nothing. Doesn't do, you know, less damage. It does nothing. So this Woobat, you got to try to figure out how to get it set up. You got to try to figure out how to get the energy on it. All while having no cards in hand. It's insane crazy suggestion. I thought that this deck was just going to be absolutely atrocious, but we make it work somehow. So we have the Woobat for that, uh, you know, early, early game, right? We're going to spread and we have a couple of attackers for the late game. We got Sigilyph with the Psychic Assault. I kind of felt like this card would be a nice little addition to the deck just so that we could do more damage in the late game after we spread a ton. And we also have a Galarian Cursula, which is actually a surprisingly nice early game starter, right? You can have that ability active, the Gnawing Aura. As long as the Pokemon is active, your opponent's Pokemon take 30 damage when they attach an energy. And then it has a nice little spread attack for the Hollow Missile. So while you're trying to pare your hand down to go in with the Woobats, you could start to, you know, get some damage on the board with the Galarian Cursula. We have a couple of support Pokemon here. We got our Jirachi with the Dreamy Rev, going to allow us to pick a card from the top of the deck. I'm not quite sure if this Jirachi is the better one or the other Jirachi for this kind of deck, because the other Jirachi can obviously whiff on the Stellar Wish. But... I think for now this one is probably it because we have to focus around Air Balloon and the Scoop Up Net. We also have Zigzagoon for more damage placements. Headbutt Tantrum going to put damage counters on the opponent's side of the field. And then our Mimikyu to shut down all those Mewtwo and Mew decks with this ability Shadow Box. So the biggest thing about this deck is how to pare your hand down. There are a couple of cards here that I just want to highlight. Uh, the first being Pokegear. Pokegears are things that you could just fail. Obviously, in the early game, we want to play our supporters so we can try to get our Woobats out with energy. But in the late game, we can always just play a Pokegear and then say, hey, you know what? I don't even want to take a supporter, even if I find one. We also have a Pokemon communication here. We got two of them, actually. That's how we can find our Woobats. But also, if that we're in that mid game and we need to pair our hand down again, we can go ahead and Pokemon communicate back into Pokemon, not take one out. And all of a sudden, we're decreasing our hand size by two. We also have Quick Ball. Of course, we know that discards a card from our hand. We're going to lean heavily on that. But we also have Viridian Forest. Again, does the same exact thing. We play Viridian Forest just so we can discard. We only have one basic Psychic. So the Viridian Forest is really just in here for the discarding effect. Speaking of discarding effects, we finally see Alistair, the supporter on this channel. Alistair, draw three cards. If you drew any cards in this way, discard up to three cards from your hand. So Alistair is awesome because if you have a hand that has a lot of supporters or maybe a lot of energy that you can't attach, you can Alistair try to get into some other cards that maybe you could play on this turn, and then you could discard all those cards that you don't need. So Alistair is a really strong card in this deck, as well as Guzmahala. Guzmahala is going to be great for us because it can search out the special energy horror and uh, give us a tool that we need, be it the air balloon or the telescopic sight. So this is the deck, y'all. I can't believe that this was the most liked deck for Fan Favorite Friday. Let me know down in the comments below what you want to see for next Fan Favorite Friday. While you're down there, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. Now let's see if we can win a game with Woobat.
Alistair Galarian Cursula. The Wubad deck, huh? The Wubad deck. Y'all really trying to make me get old real quick here. But we're gonna we're gonna do our darndest to make this work. Now, I wouldn't be truthful if I didn't tell you guys that I initially played this deck without understanding the full extent of, of what uh, what the Wubat uh, does. <laughs> but <laughs> we're going to try to make it work, baby. This is honestly, this is a pretty good hand to make some things happen. Let's see if we can't do it. Let's see if we can't do it. I just, the problem is going to be setting up, right? That's just, the, the problem is going to be setting up. But if we can set up, we're not in a horrible position. Like, we need this, like, the Poke Gear needs to be an Alistair. And the Alistair needs to get us a Woobat. Uh, I think we can pretty much play everything else in our hand. Uh, so we can spread 90 damage. Uh, but then if we don't have anything in our hand, like... God help us, you know? So they're going to build some spite. This thing is scary. Gotta say. Couple of resetties. Okay. Uh, we need this to be an Alistair. Nothing doing, huh? Okay. Uh, I honestly think we go here. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Let's do this. This, th this, I guess, will, will thin the deck and then we'll pass, I guess. I I don't know, man. How am I supposed to play this deck? You guys wanted this? Can't believe it. A fan favor. I thought it couldn't get any worse than Guard of War. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're out of here. We're out of here. We're leaving with our pride. Okay, okay. You knocked me out. All right. <laughs> I can't believe this was the most requested deck. This was the most requested. I'm like, I was ripping my hair out for like 45 minutes trying to figure out how to make a good list around this card. I, I, I think, I'm just going to say it right now. I think we have the most optimal Woobat list on YouTube. Tell me if that's true down below. Tell me if that's true down below in the comments. I, I think we have the, the premier Woobat list on YouTube. Okay. 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 Tell you what. Tell you what, buddy. Now's your chance. Now's your chance, Galarian Cursula. Go take it home for me, okay? Another Eternatus. I would feel way better against like a Pigarom starting the Cursula. I hate that we have a I hate that we have a two prizer in the active right now. But what were we gonna do, man? And both resetties, once again. I really like the reset stamps in the late game, right? That's okay. So we'll make it work. We got the woo the wooby. One telescopic sight, one quick ball. We can get out another woo bat if we so desire. We're going to need, like, Woobats early and often. Uh, and I'm worried about that. I, I won't lie. So there's their Eternatus. Just no attachment, please, on the first turn. Just do me one favor. No attachment, please. <laughs> Dude, nobody has more fun playing Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I love this game. I've been playing it for 10 years now. Probably 11 now. Yeah, I, I started, well, probably 12 now. Started in like 2009, played competitively in 2010, and then here we are, 11 years later. You, it's, I don't even think, like I'm trying to think of other things that I've done for 11 years besides play Bassoon and play Pokemon, and it's really not much, so. Testament to the quality of the game that we 
that we know and love that I, I mean, I think is, you know, generally more accessible now than it ever was, which is a big, um, that's a big solid dude. I'm going to, okay. I'm going to try to go for it. They're down to switch here. It might not be correct, but I'm going to do this. I, I just, I understand I'm hearing you guys, but I'm going to try to gain like every single little advantage that I possibly can. So I think this is an advantage that I feel like we could potentially exploit. They already have two Crobat down. Um, they already have two switch down, so we'll just do that, and then we'll go in with the research on the next turn and try to hit some, uh, try to hit a switch, try to hit you know an energy or something like that. So when you're playing a weird rogue deck like this, you have to leverage like these little like minuscule advantages, right? Because this, they probably have a switch, they have like a dark city or something, or, or even an energy attachment to like manually retreat. But if we can stall them for one turn. Like one turn, that's as big of an advantage as we could possibly hope for. So there's a Pierce. Um, that gets them a Crobat. But again, that's like their third Crobat. So we can definitely capitalize on that with a Woobat and a Telescopic Sight. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty cool. Maybe they prized... Dude, they got a Krogunk. Okay. Dude, maybe they prized a couple of Crobats. And they didn't even get an Energy, which is weird. Dude, we got the Alistair. Okay, okay, act natural. Oh, Pog. Oh, but we don't have an energy. <laughs> uh, we have to discard three, huh? All right, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get into the dreamy rev. Uh-huh. We can put something on top for next turn. I guess we'll leave the research on top case they Marnie. And then we could scoop up the Jirachi. Do we care that that's active? I don't, I don't think so. Okay, we'll pass. This is tough, man. We needed the, we needed the energy and the retreat with the Alistair. So now we got to hope that we just draw into a butt ton of items off the research. Ah, yes, there's that hiding, like I was very, very nervous about. They are going to take a knockout here. Dude, but, like, look at that. Their hand is so bad. Like, maybe if we could gust up the, the slow bro or something, like, that could be an advantage. They got one card in hand, dude. One card, one single card. All right, this might be our chance, though. This might be our chance. Go here. Go here. Give me... We are one card off. Oh, why? Why? All right, so we put the Sigilif up. <laughs> we put the Sigilif up. And then we give this guy an energy. We'll give this here. And then we got the Guzma Hala. I ain't no Hala back, girl. Get that Guzma Hala. Oh, no, and they got a Crobat. Why didn't they take Crobat off the piers, is what I want to know. That's so sad. That's so sad. I thought maybe they had prize. Or, or oh, you know what? They might have gotten the Crobat off the prizes. That would be an insane rip. So we're going to get that 30 damage um, on the active. Gotta say, still looking, still looking rough for your boy. Um, but that that's okay. That's okay. We're here to have fun, and uh, it's what the people wanted. So I I give the people what they want. We're definitely getting that uh, that woo bad attack off for full effect. One, two, three, four, five. There's six Pokemon on his bench. Six. So I'm 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 thinking we're we're not in a bad spot, all things considered. Yeah, there's that dread in. And we're actually gonna do 30 damage to everything. And then 60 damage to the other guys. Which is pretty lit, if you ask me. Okay. There's our Cursula. We got another Alistair. Do we risk it for the bisque? Is Alistair better or worse than Guzmahala? 
Because Guzmahala guarantees us the energy. Uh, and then... But we don't really need, like... We don't need a tool. I guess what we could do is we could... No, we don't really... Is it better to Guzmahala? Yeah, I think technically it would be better to Guzmahala. Yeah, that's pretty sad, but I think it is. All right, so we... Uh, search our deck for a stadium. We have to discard this, and I guess... I guess the poke gear, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause we have the scoop up, not the mimic you. Yeah. Okay. So we take this, literally that. Okay. So we'll take those. Uh, We could take the Viridian too. That's kind of a cheeky play. I really hate to give it to my opponent, but like, what else are we going to do? So then we go here, play this. Go here, go here, retreat. Dude, we're doing gangbusters. Unamplified sound, baby. Look at that spread. Look at that spread. <laughs> we could actually win. I hate to say it. We are in a position that we, like, we have to, I don't know how we get out of this. We have to, like, top deck a research. But like, no, th this is the sitch. This is the exact situation. So they go, wait, wait, we can actually do it. Wait, no. No, no. This should not work. No way. No way. Okay, so as long as they don't have a way to increase the HP of their Crobats, I think we win because we're going to outpace and they're going to take 20, uh, two prizes here. We spread again and we're going to take six prizes. Boom, boom, boom on all their Crobats and we're going to win the game. No way, dude. This They have to have like a tool scrapper, a dangerous drill could, could screw us over. I mean, there's a few cards that could screw us over, but like we are close, dude. We are so close. Okay. Here we go. Woobat. Go ahead and pitch that thing. I hate you. All right. Give me nothing. Give me an unamplified sound wave. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I actually cannot believe it. What is going on? <laughs> Thank you guys for suggesting this deck. If you have a new suggestion for next Friday, please make sure to drop it down in the comments below. This guy, dude, he's going to try to, that's it. <laughs> that's it. What in the world? No way. <laughs> no. no, I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe in Woobat. I can't believe it, dude. You've done it. Woobat. Unamplified sound wave. Take <laughs> six prizes in one turn. <laughs> if you enjoyed this content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment down below so that other people will see this stuff. I can't believe it. Fan favorite Friday worked out like an absolute dream. Let me know what you want to see next Friday down in the comments below. This was amazing. Thank you so much to Didi for their suggestion. Guys, remember, good luck and also have fun. Catch you on the next video.